Oh, now then, as I was mentioning to you before, girls as young as five now routinely worry about their weight, we are told, and their appearance, while more than half the entire UK population is grappling with mental and physical problems relating to negative body image. Half of us have got problems with physical and mental health problems relating to body, body image, negative body image. That's quite shocking, isn't it? This is according to a parliamentary report published in May this year. And its worrying findings spurred my next guest on to start her own campaign next month. Kate Hardcastle will launch the Positive Image campaign aimed at boosting the nation's lack of self-confidence. Kate, good morning. Hi there. So tell me about this campaign. Well, for me, it started a little bit before the parliamentary findings, um, but they certainly have clarified the need Mm. for the issue. We all feel really, really lacking in confidence and that affects everything we do students it affects studying friendships relationships in Mm. in adult life it goes on to affect our work our job our hobbies and i think there's a lot of negative messages about it so anti-plastic surgery or for it anti-fake eyelashes or for it and i kind of wanted to understand as a mum what would be possible down the middle how about celebrating what you want to be having the confidence to be what you want to be um and that's what this campaign is about it's about inspiring confidence you may not be a traditionally or accepted the best looking person in the planet i wasn't i was bullied for it horrendously but i was really academic i loved my school Mm. it nearly took me off my course um it nearly made me not want to go to school and thankfully i pushed through it and got there explain a bit more to me because he you sit in front of me and I have to say this studio this morning has been filled with breathtakingly beautiful people <laughs> well it's, it has, uh, uh, it's hacked me off no end um, but here you sit before me you know and I would not want to hear a message from you about positive image when you sit there you know looking as gorgeous as you do physically you're perfect you've got long blonde hair very pretty face a beautiful body you know I, I how could you possibly be preaching this image when you look so perfect and isn't it a shame that i don't and i think that's the case i think you see something so different in other people but we don't don't tell people no i was bullied for my teeth which i've never done anything with which you'll see a quite and show my groom which i never show on pictures these days but my my, um, my teeth my eyesight i was bullied for the fact that i didn't have the stick thin qualities um and these things got in the way i've i I feel i'm at the best of my appearance but i think what you're seeing in me is happiness and confidence and a smiley person actually and i think that's what's communicate communicating to you as i'm now confident in who i am have you tricked me into yes i have i've hypnotized you heather no i'm being serious you know do you think that you're a plain woman who tricks people into believing that she's beautiful because you act in a in a very pretty way you know you smile a lot you've got great social skills i think a lot of that is that i think it's how you hold yourself and i think it's taken me a long time to find confidence and i think it's when you go into schools and colleges as i have Mm. done and hear some of the horrendous stories about how young people feel about themselves Mm. i think it's time for change well tell tell me some of those stories that you're hearing well the bullying that i experience still happens and that will always happen i don't think again this is an anti-bullying campaign but the the depths and extents of sorrow and how people feel and how the media portrays icons who have to be perfect looking mm. the airbrushing we all know about the circles around cellulite in magazines that saying this is clearly not mm. acceptable i was talking to the express at the weekend about what they can do they had a feature on people like talisa in there which is wonderful i think mm. it's great if there needs to be role models like that brilliant if that what that's what works for mm. you but there was a young girl called martha payne who's raised a hundred thousand pounds for Malawi and is now set off on a plane yeah. to go and see where her work is and for me that's an inspiring She's the girl model. that photographed a school dinner every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah and I want to understand how can we get the balance better Heather? How can we get mm. or as many of the existing role models that are out there this isn't a wagging fingers campaign this is just saying there are people out there that say hey these mm. are incredible walks of life they are brilliant friends motivators chefs scientists educators Mm -hmm. and they're not out there to be role models so when you ask the children within the schools and the students within the schools who who do you look up to who are your role models it seems like it's coming from a very limited base that means if they can't feel that they can associate with this spectacularly glamorous person Mm. they don't have the confidence what do you think about the the olympics this year because there we saw you Mm. know these british women um wearing you know our flag running for us and 